welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. How do you track the progress of your project? How do you know whether you are on the mark or lagging in the project? There are two simple tools that every project manager use in the Agile project. They are burn up and burn down chart. A burn up chart tracks how much work has been completed. And a burn down chart shows how much work is remaining to be done in a project. Let's study about these two charts in detail in this lecture. A burn up chart as we learned before tracks how much work has been completed and also it shows the total amount of work for the project or iteration. On the side there is an example of a burn up chart. The blue line shows the total work. We see in the chart that the blue line is shifting upwards. This can sometimes happen in an agile project when some work is added at the middle of the project. The work was added on the fifth iteration of sprint so the blue line representing the total work shifted upwards. If some works had been deleted, the blue line would slope downwards. The y-axis shows the story points or they can even show the total time allocated for the project. We can see from the burn up chart that as the progress progressed more, more cumulative hours of works were completed so the red line which represents the cumulative amount of work completed increased. Now let's talk about the burn down chart which displays much of the same information about the project in the other way. It shows how much work is remaining. It is simple to understand. We can see from the figure of burn down chart that as the project progresses, the graph starts to decrease as there are lesser and lesser works to be completed. Like we talked in the burn up chart, the y axis shows the story points or can also represent the time allocated for the project. We see from the graph here that the planned time of the project was 150 hours, which kept on decreasing to 0 hours. That means on the 16th iteration, the project was completed. There was nothing to do. The yellow line shows the planned progress of the project and the gray line shows the actual progress. Our actual project in the Agile project may not be according to our plan. So sometimes it may go above and sometimes it may fall below the plan line. The advantage of the burn up chart is we can add works in the burn up chart and still we can track the progress. We see in the red line that as the client added work, the total work increased. So there was an increase in slope and at the end of the red line, we see that as the work was removed to meet the deadline, the total work decreased so that the red line shifted downwards. The blue line which shows the total cumulative completed works goes on increasing and meet the red line in some time or iteration in the graph. The meeting point of the red and the blue line shows that the project is complete. The red line shows that the plan progress for the project and the blue line shows the actual progress. When the blue line is above the red line or on the upper side in the burn up chart, we should understand that we are ahead of the schedule or the planned schedule. When the blue line or the total completed line graph is below the red line, we understand that work is behind the schedule and if we progress in the same way, we may not be able to complete the project in the time. The burn down chart talks about the remaining work to be completed. It shows if we are ahead or behind the schedule in the other way. Let's consider the example on the side. Here the red line is the to do or the planned schedule of the project progress and the green is the actual progress. If the line or actual progress of the project is above the red line or to do line or planned line, we should understand that we are behind the schedule. If the actual progress or dawn line falls below the red line or the plan line, we should understand that we are ahead of the schedule. By now, 
we can see that the problem with the bond down is it doesn't clearly show the scope of the change in the project like if certain work is added or deleted on request of the client that information can't be shown in the bond down chart let's see the uses of the bond up and bond down chart bond up chart makes more sense when we focus on the work across iterations and it is usually good for the agile project management while it is little complicated to draw than the bond down chart it gives us the total information of the total work done and our progress in the project bond down chart shows the progress within the single sprint or iteration and is simple and effective for a waterfall and a conventional project management so far we studied about the bond up and bond down chart we will also study drawing the burn down chart with the excel template that i will provide you in the related lecture for now i hope you understand something about burn up and burn down chart thank you so much for learning with me before ending this lecture let me remind you to join my lean university's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my lean university's online library and get tons of free courses free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.